So hi dear Aquarius, a very very good evening to you guys. This is Anjali Taro and this is a journal of reading for all the Aquarius Sun, Moon, Venus rising. Keep in mind this is general, it might or might not resonate with you at the first place. The second thing, the rules can be reversed also. Third thing, this is a reading from 4 till the 10th of November and it's valid for every 12th sign that you are dealing with along with your own sign. If it is not resonating, it's not your story, you can just skip the video. Now if you want a one-on-one -on -one healing sessions or personal readings, you can check out the description box and you can mail me for the same. So let's start. Okay, honey. Aquarius, your person or your partner's current feelings for you right now at this present moment are, let's see. I just left the something in the, leave it. So you, this person is feeling like they should uh, like forgive and forget whatever happened and they should release the situation and or release whatever is happening between you guys and have a brand new beginning in this direction. Maybe just a friendship kind of a deal, but this person is feeling like releasing something and uh, having a freedom kind of energy. Let me clarify the judgment here. We have the Knight of Cups, the Page of Swords, the Knight of Swords. Okay. First of all, this person is dealing with multiple energies at the same time and or both of you are dealing with multiple energies and the, at the same time. And this is creating a lot of chaos and conflict between you guys. Now this person is feeling like they should come forward towards you with some kind of message communication apology because according to them they can't wait any longer. Uh, there is enough of the, there is uh, like uh, enough of silence, enough of distance, enough of not talking to each other. Now they feel like coming towards you and sorting it out with you in some way. Releasing the burdens and heavy energy of you know uh, uh, feeling like um, they should like uh, talk to you or not, they should do this or not, they should uh, tell you or not, they feel like they should just tell you, they should just uh, uh, communicate with you at least once and then they should, they feel like they should just free, like free themselves, oh my god, from the pain, from the heaviness, not the pain, the heaviness that they are experiencing in the situation but by not doing something that they really, really feel like they should do. Okay, let's see what do you feel about this particular person or situation from uh, your side. Four of Cups, you feel disappointed in the situation in some way. You have other options too, but you are feeling like you are stuck on this particular person or situation. You are quite disappointed the way things are going in this direction. Let me clarify the Four of Cups here. We have the Queen of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, the World card. You feel like uh, you still have love for this situation. But you feel like not putting in the effort and energy in the situation anymore because you tried your best in the past as well and you failed and now you are feeling like uh, you should just uh, take care of yourself. Self-love, self-care, self-healing is your important uh, matter uh, right now and you feel like uh, you should just uh, not put in the effort and energy in this direction anymore and you should just let it go or leave it for, leave the situation for what it is and not do anything about the situation anymore, okay, because you are disappointed. Cool. I understand. Let's see what this person wants from you. What are their intentions for the situation between you and them? Aquarius. Three of Wands. Their intention is to have uh, this energy of okay, let's wait and watch. Physically, they want to keep moving on and emotionally, they just want to wait and watch. Got a little bit similar kind of reading for another sign as well today. I don't remember, um, remember which one. Maybe Sagis. Okay, they want to wait for the time and they will be able to get a final answer regarding the future direction of the situation, meaning commitment and or marriage. They want to wait for the final answer. They know they are going to be disappointed for like about whatever answer they are going to get out of the situation, they are going to get disappointed, but they want to wait for the final answer. Wow. It's like, uh, I know this is impossible to happen, but I just want to wait for the final results because I want uh, the 100% surety that th this is what it is. So this person knows that this is not going to work out between you and them eventually. This is never going to work out, but they are waiting for the time when they are going to get the 100% surety and the truth in front of them like this is the done deal. This is done. This is gone. Let's see, what do you want from this particular person or situation from your side?
king of pentacles so you just want to remain practical you just want to remain very grounded in the situation uh, you don't want to show any kind of emotions in the situation Aquarius even if you care even if you still have a soft corner for the situation you don't want to show it to anybody it's like uh, you just want to remain very practical and very grounded in the situation you just want to take a decision and stick to that decision right see you want to drop the situation because of its toxicity and uh, its negativity maybe you guys were very codependent on each other or maybe the, 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 the whole situation was very very toxic between you guys and now you just want to stick to the decision of not taking any kind of shit from the situation and leaving the situation behind not uh, being even friends with this person anymore because you're done with this person for good this time you're like i have given so much time so much energy resources and everything to the situation in the past i don't want to repeat the same cycle again ever in this lifetime anjali i'm done i got you i understand it's fine sometimes it happens honey let's see what's coming towards you till the 10th of november We have the six of pentacles. Okay, it's like uh, equal give and take of energy, or it's like the uh, balance within yourself that you are going to find up eventually after dropping the situation permanently. Maybe let me clarify the six of pentacles. We have the two of swords, the sun card, the seven of wands. You are going to get this thousand percent clarity here, like utmost clarity. Here. The sun is the utmost clarity that you can get in a particular situation. You are going to get the utmost clarity here that you want to be happy within yourself. You are going to get the sense of justice within yourself and you are going to block everything and everyone who is going to give you any kind of stressful energies in any way. It's not about this relationship, this dynamic only. It's about every person, every situation, every relationship that you're having in your life that is going to give you any kind of dissatisfaction or any kind of blockage. You're just going to like take a stand for yourself and you are going to leave that situation behind for good this time let's see the guidance here for you guys we have the lovers the five of wands and the ace of pentacles my nose keep on itching all the time yeah it's like uh, this is a decision of your life this is not a video game so if you know something or someone is not good for you no matter what connection what relationship you have with that person you need to understand that you need to have a brand new beginning in a particular direction only if you feel like that person or that energy is good for you right for you they are going to give you something good on the table in the coming future and or if you feel if you know that something is not going to work out even if you are going to give your life to them even if there is a lot of love or a lot of uh, affection from your side then it's high time for you to understand that you should leave the situation and start going in new direction new situations and and or uh, towards yourself only a brand new beginning can be with uh, oneself as well. It's not all about always about having somebody else by your side. My nose is itching very like uh, badly right now. So anyways, this is what I have for you. Hope this helps you to understand your dynamics with yourself and with the other energy here. And bless you. I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye. Take care. Namaste.